Hello guys, in this video I am going to point out the int element of Fibonacci series uh, without using recursion through the C++ language. So guys, let's start first. Uh, let's include the iStream header file first. Include iStream. Then we're using namespaces TV and uh, our main function. So first, let's have a sub function, user defined function. Uh, let's have the return type of the integer variable. We are going to return an integer number, and uh, let's put the name as uh, fib, f i b, fib, and uh, let's have a parameter of in. So guys, let's go through the main function first. We need to take the number from the user. So let's first display the uh, message for the user to enter a number. Uh, enter, enter the end element you want to be displayed. Displayed from Fibonacci Fibonacci series backslash t so here we just took the number from the user or we are going to say the end element let's say end end element from the user you just uh, took the location this is the location that we took from the user now we have to find it out so we are going to have c out and inside the c out we are going to use the fab function and send the end as the parameter and before that we should uh, display the end number of table c c is is now we have to work with the function guys first we are going to have uh, integer uh, a is equals to 0 which is the first one and uh, b is equals to 1 of the second element of 0 at the first element then we are going to have a, a decision if n is equals to a or, or which is zero or or n is equals to one so we can just return n if it was zero we, we are going to uh, return zero if it was one we were going to return uh, n uh, else if it wasn't zero or one so we are going to say that First, let's have an uh, integer type of sum. We are going to sum both of them. Let's see. Sum as equals to zero. Now it is zero. Then we are going to have a for loop for integer i is equals to. We are going to start from two. two. Then i should be less than equals to n. Then i plus plus. It should start from uh, 2 when n is 2 it will come to this for loop and start uh, it will it will run one time. it will be executed only one time because when it is when n is 2 because we said i is equals to 2 it should be less than and equals to or equals to n so first this is uh, correct so it will just so sum is equals to we are going to add previous ones which is a and b the first time it is going to be a and b and we are going to update the a element and b element we are going to put the b into a and we are going to put the sum into b it will be updated so guys uh, let's see let's see what happens now we have sum which is our result here we are going to return this return 
So, return. So we can write it here, or we can write it uh, outside the else statement also. So let's check it. Oh, it says that we did not declare in the scope. Some was not declared in the scope. Oh, this is inside uh, inside else is the uh, else statement. It is only it can be displayed on uh, can be used only here. I want let me use go to here and or uh, let's let's use uh, uh, while loop. First, we are going to have a character type of op as uh, it, is, it does not have any value. We are going to use do loop here. Uh, then we are going to close it here. Do while loop and uh, check if op is equal equals to y or not. If it was y, so again do it again and again here after displaying the Fibonacci number we are going to uh, ask the user to enter y to continue else y to again or to continue then backslash t now we are going to take the op if op was equals to y it will do it again and again so let's compile it uh, and God, there is no error. Enter the end element you want to be displayed from Fibonacci series. Of course, if we put zero, it will be zero. If we put one, it will be one. Uh, two is also uh, one. Three is two. Four is uh, three, and the five is five. Six is eight. If I put six, it will be. It will say that this is eight. Uh, so for do it again, we have to enter y. Then if uh, let's give another number how about uh, five it should be five yeah this is five why to do it again and so one one will be one zero will be zero two will be also one so how about if, if uh, how about 20 20 will be around six thousand yeah six thousand seven hundred sixty five how about 19 uh, here i should yes why how about 19 19 will be 4100 so the 2000 will be 2006 or 6 or 500 will be uh, 18 let's check 18 because both of them the sum of both of them will be of uh, 20 yeah we are going to uh, correct guys this is better than using any recursion so thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next lecture Please subscribe our channel and also share it with your friends. Thanks.